Okay, there's a switch located in the back of the valve actuator, and if you see that it's not working, um, it could be in the off position, which is right here in the middle. And this is manual here at the bottom. You can see the valve is turning it's in manual mode. And then up is the control panel mode, and that is the mode it's in when you have the control panel on. Okay, so if you find that the valve is not turning after you check the switch, then more than likely the motor has failed in the valve itself. So what we're going to have to do is just remove it temporarily until the new one gets put on. And I'll show you how to do that right now. You just take these screws off here. And the screws just pop right out. There's two more screws right here holding it on in the back. Okay, you should be able to just pull it right off. And there's the original valve right there. I'm going to take this one off and I'll put it on the original valve here. And I'll put the nut in here. So now it just becomes a regular manual valve and I'll go ahead and turn it. This is in pool mode and I can turn it to spa mode now. And we can leave the pool running like this until the valve is replaced. And you can use your spa now also by turning it manually.